Okay, today we're going to talk about place value drawings. We've been working with these with the kids this last week so that they can really visualize these kind of larger numbers that we're going to be using. And next week when we get into adding and subtracting them, uh, being able to visualize and draw these will really help. So the thousands are bars. They're tall, thin rectangles actually made up of these hundreds boxes. So, so far we have 1,300, looks like that. The tens, we have seven tens in the uh, tens place, look like this. They are sticks. Uh, what we stress with the kids is to organize these into groups of five. It's much easier to look at this and notice that that's seven than it would be if I had squished them all together. And I, then I would have to count them individually. The ones are just dots. Again, I do them in groups of five and then three more, easier to see that that's eight. Now, kids run into trouble sometimes with a number like this that has a zero in it. Really, all they need to do is just write down each, a picture for each place that has a value. So they just wouldn't include the hundreds on this one. So 2,036 would look like that. Where it gets even trickier is when they're given the drawing first and asked to name that number. Kids will make a mistake of calling this 1,203. They know that that's 1,000, they know that those are 200s, and they know that that's 3, but we know that that doesn't say 1,203. What we try to get the kids to do is to write down the value of each place. So we have three ones. How many tens do we have? Zero, that's right. Two hundreds and one thousand. That's how we arrive at the correct answer. Now, once they become comfortable with that, we're hoping that they'll be able to make the transfer to money. Instead of thinking of these as watermelons or cookies or whatever it is you're talking about in your problem, think of them as pennies. So here you can see we have 1,378 pennies. Of course, when it's written like this, we say $13.78. But the place value drawing looks just the same as it does on top. We have uh, a $10 looks like this. The dollars are groups of 100 penny, pennies, so these boxes here. The dimes are, are groups of 10. And then the pennies are just the same as they were before. So again, you see that these two drawings look the same for $1,378 and $13.78.